So it turns out that the famous pool rooms level, level 37, has a couple of secrets that I didn't know about, and maybe you didn't either. Specifically, that there are two hidden sublevels that are accessed through the pool rooms. That's right, two entire sublevels. I had no clue. And in this video, I want to dive into them. You get what I did there? Anyways, if that sounds interesting, stick around for the explanation. But first, check out my second channel, man for more of your boy. All right, now let's get into the video. Also, the last couple minutes of the video, I'm gonna be explaining to you all about the Brugley Summer Spectacular, where I'm gonna be uploading over 50 videos from May to June. I'm gonna be detailing the content, going over the schedule, all that good stuff. Just stick around for the end of the video. You won't be disappointed. The first secret sublevel of the pool rooms is called level 37.3, or Forest Luxury. This level is located between 37 and 38, obviously, that's why it's called a sublevel. You can get to the sublevel by wandering into the pool rooms until you find a modern looking house. Now this house will look like it actually belongs in the pool rooms, because it kind of blends in, it has the same tile on the outside and that kind of stuff, but if you open the door to it and you walk into it, you'll be sent to the sublevel area, which itself is classified as a class 1 difficulty. So it's pretty safe and it's split into two different parts the interior or the inside of the house and the exterior the front and backyards the interior of the house looks like a nice modern house new appliances new decorations and it smells like air freshener there are actually bedrooms here in this house and all the rooms are furnished with decorations and amenities you know like tables chairs beds mattresses blankets all that stuff and you can actually sleep in the bedrooms, and it's recommended to because they're comfortable, apparently. The exterior part of the area is the front and backyard, like I said, and also the porch area. This is a big difference from how the main part of the pool rooms looks because there's grass here and there's water in the pool rooms. So you actually might be happy to stumble upon this sublevel so you don't have to keep swimming. It's kind of like a good resting area. The porch is made of white bricks, and there's actually a big garage door next to it. And it took Meg a bunch of tries to get into it, and when they did, they found a ton of supplies stashed away, like almond water, food, and other stuff. And weirdly, there was a note there that said, quote, Good job on opening the garage door. I didn't expect anyone to open it. So here's some rewards. Now, after all the supplies were searched, the door itself was looked at thoroughly by Meg's scientists, and it turns out that it's made out of titanium, which is extremely strong and overdoing it for a garage door. So no one knows why the garage door was so thick and strong. There's also a pool in the house's backyard that gets deeper and deeper the further you go down through it. It's actually thought that the water might take you back to the main pool rooms level, but that's not confirmed right now. In this little area, there's actually a couple of friendly colonies that permanently live here, and they kind of treat it like an oasis, because it kind of is, you know, it's a land amidst all the water. You can enter this sublevel by finding that modern house in the pool rooms and walking through the door, or you can exit by walking out past the front yard of the house, and that'll send you back to the main part of level 37. So that was the first secret sublevel of the pool rooms. Now it's time for the second one, which is sublevel 37.5, or the pool of the hotel. It's classified as a class zero and is the safest area throughout all of the pool room's domain. It's got the lowest classification ranking. But an interesting thing is, is that it's not exactly known where the level is. It's somewhere between level five and 37. We know that for a fact, but it's thought to be right after the pool room's main level. The level itself is a tiny-ish pool area at the bottom of a slide. The pool itself looks really similar to the pool rooms with the tile and stuff, but inside of this pool's water is fish. Interesting. And this area can only be gotten to by going down that slide to get here. The only entities here are the fish in the water and this bat creature called the rollers. They're both harmless and they'll just let you swim in peace, man. To get to this area, you gotta go down that slide like I said, but the slide's entrance is from level 5, which is a sneaky way to get to the pool rooms. 
to exit this hidden pool area, you can go through a door hatch down there that leads you to the pool rooms, or you can walk back up the slide the way you came, but it'll take you to level negative five instead of level five. So you get to pick your poison. And that was the second secret sub-level of the pool rooms. It's not as much a level as it is like a secret location, but it's rarer to get to than the first one I talked about. So I'm counted as a sub-level. Hope you enjoyed. That wraps up the pool room's deepest secrets video. <laughs> I hope you liked it or enjoyed it or both. Thank you for watching the full video. If you're still watching, I appreciate you. And if you don't mind, comment BSS4 because the Brugly Summer Spectacular starts in four days. On Monday, May 2nd at 4 p.m. Eastern will be the first upload. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing for the BSS or the Brugly Summer Spectacular, I'm going to explain it here, but I'm also going to release a short on Saturday to go in depth with the schedule so you'll be able to see my uploads. Pretty much, the Brugly Summer Spectacular is a movement that I'm doing this summer from May, June to July, where I'm going to be going over backrooms levels 13 through 50. I'm going to be making other level videos, other fan-made levels videos, joke levels videos, and even some non-backrooms related content. So that's going to be over 60 videos in May to June alone. That's not even counting the July videos. There's going to be a ton of videos going up, so make sure you got your notifications on and subscribe so the videos will show up in your sub box, people. There's going to be so much content coming up here. Levels 13 through 50's explanations, fan-made levels, the normal type of videos I do, entity shorts, new shorts, and like Reddit mysteries type stuff. It's, it's going to be awesome, guys. I mean, it's literally going to be so fun. And that doesn't even count my second channel this summer, which is Toogly which I'm going to be streaming on and uploading so much over there. Minecraft videos, Roblox, Backrooms maps, rants, tier lists, story times. It's going to be a really fun time, and it's all part of the Brugly Summer Spectacular. It's all part of the same thing. Hope that sounds cool, because it's going to be. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video and supporting me. I really appreciate you. Thank you all very much for everything. The channel's just growing insane. Just... We're on the road to 500k. Thank you all so much. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all on Saturday with a short explaining in detail the Brugling Summer Spectacular. See you then. Peace.